Have you ever wondered if starting a business is right for you? Starting a business is both an exciting and challenging endeavor, and recognizing the right time to start is crucial. Determining the right time to start your own business can be a daunting decision. In today's podcast episode, I help you determine when you're truly ready to take the plunge into entrepreneurship. I'm discussing five signs that indicate you're prepared for this journey. Whether you're starting a business or side hustle, you're a self-employed individual, a solopreneur, entrepreneur, mompreneur, freelancer, business owner, bookkeeper, or virtual assistant. If you're not sure if you have what it takes to be an entrepreneur, or if you've already started your business, make sure that you take the time to think through these signs so that you can bring your passion to life with the successful business you've been dreaming of. If you're a business owner who wants to take your business to the next level, whether you're starting a business, you're building your business, or you're serious about growing your business, I want to invite you to work with me so that you can meet your goals in the most accelerated, streamlined, and efficient way possible. That also aligns with your life and the impact that you want to make with your business. As a CPA, business strategist, and coach, I've created two options for you to choose from when you work with me. The first is my Mastering Your Small Business Finances Profit Lab. This is a group program where we have live weekly business meetings and coaching sessions to answer your questions so that you can generate revenues and increase the profit in your business. You can learn more about the Profit Lab by going to financialadventure.com slash profit. Or, if you like the idea of working with me on a more private, one-on-one basis, you can schedule a free consultation session where we'll go over where you currently are in your business and where you'd like to see yourself and your business in the future. During this session, we'll begin to map out the steps you need to take to achieve your goals. I'm helping my clients start their businesses, become more profitable, set strategies to move their business forward, and take control of their business and their finances while allowing them the balance and ability to enjoy their personal lives by utilizing business strategy, coaching, mentorship, and support. You can schedule your session today by going to financialadventure.com and clicking on the Work With Me button. By taking action in your business, you'll achieve your goals. By keeping everything simple, you'll avoid confusion and overwhelm. You'll understand your business finances, your next steps, and you'll follow through with the vision that you have for your business. My goal is to help you dream big, follow your heart, and love what you do. You're listening to the Mastering Your Small Business Finances podcast, where we get straight to the point on topics that ultimately affect your bottom line. That's right, as an entrepreneur with a small business, money management, growth, marketing, they all affect your bottom line. I'm your host, Chris Ponick. I'm a certified public accountant, and I've been helping small business owners like you navigate and easily understand these complicated topics for over 25 years. I'm a wife, a mom, a grandmother, and a small business owner myself, so I know your time is valuable. In my free time, I make the best sugar cookies and have mastered an amazing chocolate chip cookie recipe. And that's not just my opinion. You're in the right place. I promise your time will be well spent here. Each week you'll gain confidence and clarity while making a successful impact on your business and grow your bottom line. Get comfy, grab a cookie, and let's get straight to the point with this week's episode. Welcome back. If you've been thinking about starting your own business, going out on your own, and want to stop working for someone else only to help them reach their goals, I see you and I totally understand. I've been in your shoes. I know how uneasy and stressful a decision like this can be. You might be passionate about an idea or eager for financial independence, but how do you know if you're truly prepared? Let's explore the five key signs I believe you should have that indicate you're ready to take the entrepreneurial leap. 
The first sign is your passion and purpose. Starting a business should be driven by more than just financial gain. True entrepreneurs are often guided by a deep passion for the product or the service that they offer. They're on a mission to make a difference. Ask yourself why you want to start this business. What differences are you hoping to make in your customers' lives? When you find yourself waking up every day excited about your venture, it's a strong indicator that you're ready to start your own business. Sign number two is financial stability. Starting a business comes with financial risks. To ensure that you're ready, you need to have your finances in order. This means having an emergency fund, a clear understanding of your personal and your business expenses, and a plan to support yourself during your startup phase. Are you willing and able to take the risks of owning your own business? As a CPA, I can't emphasize enough the importance of being financially prepared. It's also essential to ask yourself if the business that you want to start is something that people actually want, need, and are willing to pay for. Side number three is resilience. Entrepreneurship often involves setbacks and challenges. If you're able to bounce back from failures and setbacks with determination and a positive attitude, you're on the right track. Building resilience is often one of the areas that I work with my clients on. You need to strengthen your emotional resilience so that you're able to take on anything that might come up in your entrepreneurial journey. Are you ready to make sacrifices for your business? If you ask any entrepreneur if they were able to start and run their business like they initially thought or planned, I'm sure you'll hear many different stories. And, most likely, they'll say that they were able to build resilience and the path to their success helped them to become the resilient, well-rounded business owners they currently are. Sign number four is industry knowledge. Being an expert in your field is crucial. If you spent years building your skills and have a deep understanding of your industry, you're well positioned for success. If you're still learning, you may want to consider gaining more experience and knowledge before diving in or have a plan to continue gaining the knowledge that you're going to need. Also, keep in mind that in most cases, you only need to be a few steps ahead of your customers to help them reach the success that they're aiming to achieve. And lastly, number five, having a support system. It's essential for you to surround yourself with the right people. A strong support system, including a mentor, advisor, business and life coach, and a network of like-minded individuals can make a world of difference in your journey as an entrepreneur. As a certified life coach myself, I encourage you to build your support network with intention. I see firsthand how important business and life coaching benefits my clients. To recap, the five signs that I covered in this podcast to know if you're ready to start your own business are passion, financial stability, resilience, industry knowledge, and a robust support system. If you find you've covered all of these areas, you're in a strong position to make your entrepreneurial dreams a reality. I encourage you to take the next step by signing up for a free consultation or coaching session with me as your business and life coach. Feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to help you. You can schedule your free consultation or sign up for a coaching session today. As a certified public accountant and certified life coach, I can help alleviate the stress you may be feeling when it comes to starting your business, your career, or even your personal life. I'm here to guide you through the financial aspects of your business and help you focus on the steps that you need to follow to reach the success that you want to achieve in your business and stay committed so that you can continue to keep pushing forward. I'm here to help you with both your business and your personal life so that you can relieve the stress, anxiety, or overwhelm that you're currently feeling. Having an accountant and certified life coach like me can provide you with valuable insights and ideas to help you simplify your business, 
which enables you to go back to enjoying your business like you thought you would when you first started it. I work with business owners and accountants to create actionable steps that they need to take to ultimately achieve their goals while getting relief from the stress and overwhelm they feel from the pressure of owning a business, deadlines, and the workload they face every day. If you're struggling with this as well and would like some help developing a solution, help strengthen and maintain your emotional health, increase your well-being, create a more positive, happy, and joyful life, set and achieve your goals, and manage your relationships, I'd love for you to join me in my Balanced Life Coaching Program so that you can live a more purposeful life. Each week, we meet privately one-on-one, and you get to bring whatever is on your mind on any given week. It could be your highest priority that you want to work on, whatever you want more of in your life, or if there's something that's weighing on you heavily and you need coaching on, and we'll work through it together. Having a certified life coach like me helping you through all of this allows you to feel so seen and cared for, and the results are amazing. Everyone benefits when they work with a certified life coach. After every call, you feel energized and you know exactly what to do for the week to come, and relief knowing that we'll meet again the next week to go over anything that comes up after the call. You'll gain self-awareness while you take each step towards your goals. The investment in this program is an easy yes for you. I've set this program up in the most supportive way. If you're ready to join the Balanced Life Coaching Program, you can go to financialadventure.com and click on the Work With Me button. You'll see the link to join as well as additional information about the program. Sign up now. There are limited spots available for this program due to the one-on-one aspect, and it does sell out. If the payment link is gone, you can get on my wait list to join the program when additional spots are available. I help people get results and live a more joyful life. I coach everybody on everything. Everyone has something they want in their lives, and I help them get it. I know this is something that you've been waiting for. I've been asked by many of my listeners to create this exact program. The faster you get access to the program, the quicker you'll see the possibilities that are available to you. I also have a risk-free guarantee. I believe so strongly that everyone benefits from coaching that when you sign up today, if for any reason you're not satisfied with your first session, you can send us an email and we'll refund you immediately. Are you ready to enjoy your life now? Why would you want to wait? Make this investment for yourself. Take the journey with me. Make it happen for yourself. Ask yourself why you need this program in your life right now. Are you ready to make bigger, bolder, stronger life goals? I'm looking forward to meeting with you soon and digging deeper to see where you currently are in your business or your career and start creating actionable steps so that you can reach your vision and your goals for the future, not only in your business or your career, but also in your personal life. I'm ready to work with you, see all of your successes, and watch you thrive in your business or career while creating your best work-life balance. I'll post links to this and other valuable resources for business owners and accountants where you're listening to this podcast. And you know I'm going to ask, what's at least one thing that you'll take away from this episode that will help your business succeed and grow your bottom line? If you need some accountability, join our private Facebook community and post your action item. We'd love to support you. Thanks for taking the time to tune into this episode of Mastering Your Small Business Finances. If you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed creating it for you, I'd love for you to give it a five-star rating and subscribe to the show so you never miss an episode. Visit financialadventure.com for the show notes, links from this episode, and while you're there, leave a comment if you have a topic you're interested in learning more about that affects your bottom line. If you're looking for a community where you can ask questions and get feedback about your small business, 
join my private Facebook group. You can find the links to this group and more on financialadventure.com. And remember, any financial information shared on this podcast is not to be considered professional, financial, or tax advice and should not be solely relied upon. Please consult your CPA or tax advisor for an opinion on your specific circumstances. I'm looking forward to having you tune in next time. Until then, dream big, follow your heart, and love what you do.